So Stacey DeFrancesco and Emily Sweet both had career records today in the five-set match against Texas Arlington. Talk about their impact on the game. Um, it felt a little bit like last year. <laughs> it was the you know, Sweet and, and Stacey show. Um, no, they, they, I, I think what's, what happens with them is they're so used to playing, each, playing, with, playing with each other. Um, you know, Sweet was able to find Stacy in her rhythm. Um, Stacy, after you know a couple weekends of some you know back and forth play for her, I thought she really rebounded well and kind of became herself again this weekend. So that was that was good to see for us. And, um, but yeah, no, they they played great and they contributed you know hugely to what we were doing. And I'm real happy with their play. Taking a sweep is a big step for the NSU program. Uh, how do you think that will help out going into the home season for Tuesday and conference season? Um, you know, it's, it's real important. I think our players are now getting to the level of, you know, I think last year a lot of what we were doing was we were looking to be real competitive. And then, you know, that only goes so far, and now we're at a point where, you know, we're, we're looking to win, and this is, this is what we're planning on doing. And um, I think that our players know that we are talented enough to, you know, beat some real good teams. Um, we've played well the last two weekends and been um, somewhat satisfied with playing well and still losing, but that's still tough to take. So to, to go in and, and, um, and beat three quality opponents, especially beating UTA on their own, their home floor, um, I thought was uh, a nice uh, a nice reward for our players. We talked about DeFrancesco and Sweet against UTA. How about the match against Marist? What stood out to you there? Uh, you know, we... We tried in the second set to, to kind of put some new faces on the floor, and we just lost. I felt like it was probably my mistake. We, we, we lost a little bit of our chemistry. We put too many new people in that hadn't been playing all weekend. Um, so I, I, will, I will take that loss. Uh, but, you know, I thought the thing that was real important was um, I thought Mackenzie Neely really kind of imposed her will in that match, and she came in and, and uh, you know, started out the set, set, set the second set, and, and three and four, she really kind of took over and made, made some real impactful swings and blocks. And, you know, just she's a real competitive player, and that was, that was a real difference maker in turning it around. Probably our mindset in that, in that match after we lost the second set. What will you take away from this weekend going into our home opener on Tuesday? Um, you know, I, I think we continue to play at a level and, and keep trying to improve. I thought our middle play... Um, improved at times, um, which has been a focus for us. I thought our pin play, we've got, you know, it's, it's a great option for us. Is that we've got three three outsides that have proven that they can play at a real high level. Um, so we're, we're excited to see that. Um, you know, McKenzie's playing well on the right. Keely Arneson is, you know, she defended everything this weekend and passed at a real high level. So that was, you know, we've got a lot of people playing well. Um, we just have to continue to kind of polish it up a little bit and, work out some of these kinks and there's still some things that we still need to work on but you know I think we know what those are and I think we're, we're we've got the capability of improving those all right thanks coach